theme of our convention is stronger together. We're committed to stand by, stand side by side with each other and defend our rights. But we've also committed to standing side by side with all New Brunswickers, whether they live in rural communities or urban communities, and help them fight back this agenda of austerities and cuts. That's our commitment to the people of New Brunswick. d'avoir un invité spécial avec nous aujourd'hui. Le seul député NDP dans la province du Nouveau-Brunswick qui sait quoi ce que les défis qui font face les communautés rurales, qui voient des attaques une après l'autre du au niveau provincial autant que au niveau fédéral. Un champion pour tous les néo brunswickois le confrère Yvan Godin. Merci Daniel. Premièrement, ça me fait plaisir de rester avec vous autres aujourd'hui pour manifester devant notre législature. Pour ceux cela qui voudraient dire que Yvan Godin, qui est député fédéral, n'a pas d'affaires dans les choses provinciales, ben moi je vais leur reprendre, à reprendre, c'est que je suis un nouveau Brunswickois. Je suis fier de D'abord, conservateur et libéral, le nouveau Brunswick se sont présentés. Puis quand Brian Galland s'est présenté, c'est parce qu'il a dit qu'il voulait faire meilleur que l'autre. Il voulait faire meilleur que l'autre gouvernement. Puis aujourd'hui, on tombe encore de des coupures. C'est qui qui a des coupures? C'est les plus vulnérables. C'est les personnes dans le système de santé. Nos enfants qui vont dans les écoles. C'est ces personnes-là qui les coupures vont. Mais Galland, si tu veux couper, là, à la place de couper, fait d'en payer les impôts aux grosses corporations qui payent leur part ici. Oui! 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 When they go in the campaign, they don't say, I want to cut, cut, cut. They say, I want to be better than the other government. And when they get elected, they do completely the difference. Well, I'll tell you something. Coming from a rural area, it's no fun at all. When they had a time to come in and take our fish from the Bay de Chaleur, when they came in and took our forestry in Batters, for example, and the region of the peninsula, When they came in, they took the mining. Well, at that time, they were getting the money from our area, and we didn't really get served right. We took, they took everything away from us, and it's not right. Shame! The school, yeah. bus, shame. The school bus, for example. What a shame. How would you see a little kid of five years old going to the kindergarten, or a little kid of six years old going to the school, walking on the side of the street in the north of New Brunswick, or in any place across the province, is totally not acceptable, and people here don't have to accept it. I share your fight. You have to fight back. That's your responsibility as citizen to tell the government, no, we will not accept it. If you want money, go see your friend, the big corporation. They got lots of it. <laughs> nos jours. Ils ont venu chercher nos ressources naturelles. Ils ont venu chercher notre poisson dans la mer. Ils ont venu chercher les mines. Ils ont venu chercher la forêt. Et maintenant, ils disent « Arrangez-vous avec vos troupes. » Le gouvernement a une responsabilité pour toute la province. Le gouvernement a une responsabilité pour tous les citoyens. Puis quand ils ont été élus, ils ont dit qu'ils feront quelque chose pour les citoyens. Les citoyens n'ont pas à accepter ça. Je vous supporte dans votre bataille que vous allez faire dans toute la province et dire au gouvernement du Nouveau-Brunswick « Assez, c'est assez » et dire au gouvernement du Canada que les 36 milliards de coupures de la santé 
Hein? C'est criminel, c'est complètement criminel de faire ces coupures-là. Et l'argent doit retourner dans la santé, pour retourner dans les provinces, pour re re revenir dans nos régions, pour être capable de supporter nos personnes âgées, nos personnes malades. C'est ça qu'on veut. Là-dessus, je vous souhaite une bonne journée et aussi une bataille que vous allez gagner si vous êtes solidaires ensemble. Si vous êtes prêts à prendre cette bataille-là, ils vont plier. Mais si vous êtes prêts à rester à la maison, vous allez avoir quest ce que c'est que vous désirez d'avoir, certainement pas ça. Alors je vous dis, travaillez ensemble et allez présenter au gouvernement partout dans la province que c'est qui est votre agenda, les citoyens du Nouveau-Brunswick. Merci. Merci, merci Yvan, puis comme que vous le savez, Yvan ne se représente pas euh, de nouveau dans les prochaines élections fédérales. Ça fait qu'Yvan, notre bataille, va être ta bataille comme citoyen du Nouveau-Brunswick. So, our last speaker uh, certainly doesn't need an introduction uh, amongst CUPE members, but for anyone who uh, here who isn't a CUPE member, uh, uh, one of our friends and neighbors who've decided to join us, we're honored to have the national president of CUPE, Brother Paul Moist. Sisters and brothers, we gather to speak to the people of New Brunswick to, today to say we are proud public employees. The services we provide make New Brunswick more equal. The cuts will make New Brunswick less equal. We plan to stand up for public services for all citizens yeah. of New Brunswick. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Mr. Premier, the Premier of the province says municipal workers, education workers, healthcare workers aren't stakeholders. He says social workers, correctional officers are not stakeholders. Paramedics are not stakeholders. Mr. Premier, you can shut us out. You will not shut us up. Yeah! Election 2014, according to Mr. Gallant, was about jobs, was about a future for young people in New Brunswick. You cannot cut our way to prosperity. We need infrastructure. We need an education system. We need public services, and we need a future for all young people in New Brunswick. The leading export in New Brunswick cannot be young people going to Alberta to work. That's hey, not a strike. Hey, hey. Let me close. Mr. Premier, you also hold responsibility for the, as the minister responsible for the status of women. Women in New Brunswick, unionized women, non-union women, have been waiting too long for pay equity. We don't want a province of austerity. We want pay equity for all women in New Brunswick, and we want it yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Mr. Premier, you can begin as minister responsible for the status of women. Reinstate funding to the status of women of New Brunswick, $400,000 to strengthen our democracy. That money should be returned to the women of New Brunswick right now. Yeah. Yeah. So let me close by saying, as QP members, members of the largest union in Canada, we will stand with QP members and workers in New Brunswick. This is a great province with a great working class history. We will stand up to defend public services that make it a better province. We won't accept no health care in rural New Brunswick. We won't accept no bus transportation for kids going to school. We won't accept cutting back social services. New Brunswick can't shrink itself to greatness. It's time we stood up in every corner of New Brunswick and they got to hear us in their offices. 
tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. They can't hear you. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Stand together. We'll take back New Brunswick for the people of New Brunswick. convention will be looking at a strategic uh, plan is how we're going to deal with this. The de delegates will hear it. Uh, time has been spent developing this and it'll roll out for the next year and we will make a commitment to each other at the convention to step to the plate to roll up our sleeves and to get the job done. Woohoo! <laughs> But we are also making a commitment to the people of New Brunswick that we will put a spotlight on the closed doors and the behind the curtain meetings. And we will let the people of New Brunswick know what this government has in store for this province. That's our commitment to the people of this province. Thank you very much.